Hello, hello there, Rob here from robshealthcrunch.com, my health blog and my, and my uh, Rob of Cambodia uh, Facebook page where I talk about Cambodia. Look where I'm standing, in the middle of the train tracks. Down there behind me is Kampot train station. Very small, so that goes north to Phnom Penh, and that goes south down south of Sinukville, down to where you get to the islands. So, I'm posting this unusual post of myself walking here, because that's what I do a lot daily, to stay fit and focused. Uh, it's about Cambodia, because just a, few, a week ago, I, I sent out a video uh, where I talk about how wonderful Cambodia is compared to Thailand and other Southeast Asian countries, just because I know a few people in Thailand, influencers that keep going on about how wonderful Thailand is and Thailand, 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 Thailand. But they fail to mention all the shortcomings. Yes, Thailand is a beautiful country, has beautiful beaches, has lots of islands, mountains and so on, you know. I know, I've been there about 10 times. But it comes with a lot of problems too. You know, Cambodia has all that as well. Cambodia is much smaller. Oh, there's dogs everywhere. So Cambodia is a much smaller country, which is good because it's easier to get around. I can go from the south where I am now in Kampo to Sinukville to Phnom Penh in two hours, two to three hours, and then I can get all the way up to Siem Reap or Patambong within six. So I can do south to north in, in a day easily. And it'll cost no more than 15 or 18 dollars. You can't do that in Thailand. It's a long way to go anywhere because everything's so, so, so much bigger. So not that that matters, look at this guy. Dogs everywhere barking like crazy, day and night. But that's a problem. But that's all over Southeast Asia. So no, people were saying, great, thank you. Thank you uh, for praising and loving Cambodia so much. And you're, you're right, it's great. And others were saying, are you joking? Are you kidding? You can't care, compare Cambodia to Thailand. Thailand's much more beautiful. So many beaches and mountains and such, such nice people. And it's cheaper too. That's a bunch of bullshit. First of all, Cambodia is far cheaper than Thailand for everything. F food, drink, you know, a bottle of wine, for example. You can buy a bottle of nice French red wine for $5 here. Try that in Thailand. You won't get anything decent under $35, or whatever that is in baht, 1,500, I think. And uh, eating out, shopping, you know, a, a kilo of, of, of rump steak I can buy for $10 here. That's five servings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those dogs are crazy. Uh, so that's that's two dollars and fifty per steak for a two hundred gram steak, right? Or two hundred fifty grams? Yeah, two hundred fifty gram steak. Yes. Yeah, so super cheap. Uh, you know, beaches here are beautiful. Down in Lookville, it's white sand, gorgeous. You can take a thirty minute ferry out to the, to the Korong Islands. Multiple lovely islands out there. Beautiful islands. Stunning, just like Thailand, but cheaper. And it's above all, you know, the visa situation here is so easy and, and the work situation. You can, you get a visa for, uh, the yearly visa for $250 a, a, a year. And there's no questions asked. It takes, it takes one week. You give it to your agent, they do all the work and that's, that's it. No checking with immigration online or whatever. You're just done. And then you can also work here with that visa, no problem. For free, you don't need to go through expensive uh, work permits procedures like you do in Thailand. Because in, so in Thailand, it's going to cost you two thousand, two thousand five hundred to get the visa, and it costs another two, two and a half to three thousand dollars to get the work permit with lots and lots of red tape and time. Here, <coughs> as soon as you got your, your your visa, you can start working. You can do whatever you want. You can you can you can work for yourself. You can open up a coffee shop tomorrow. You can work for a Cambodian company. They'll, they, they will get you a, a, work, a work permit for them because they need that then. If you work on your, on your own, you don't. So, but they, they pay the work permit, which is about $150 a year. So it's just so bloody easy. And that's why it's so nice. And look, I'm walking in the back, the back roads of Kampot now in the countryside, just because it's peaceful and quiet. And the, anyway, except for the dogs. But the bottom line is, guys. Oi, 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 oi
all right, all right, all right. Honestly, well, they're, they're, they're mean bad. They're just very protective of their houses. But they come quite close. Anyway, I'm not scared of dogs. The bottom line is, Cambodia is a fantastic country, completely underrated, and most people know nothing about it. Particularly those people who have been living in Thailand forever and think Thailand is the best place to be. It's not. There are plenty of other wonderful places. Costa Rica being one of them, for example. Uh, you know, Vietnam also. But Vietnam is also hugely restricted with visas and other things. So is Indonesia, massively difficult with visas and expensive. You know, so, so the, all of the Southeast Asian countries, Singapore too. You know, it's just here, just Cambodia for some reason, because they opened up a long time ago to foreigners after the Khmer Rouge and the brutality that went down there and how they lost so many people. The government realized, I think cleverly, that uh, welcoming foreigners to live here easily without any red tape will help uh, bring back business in the economy, and it, and it has. I mean, the, the, the population has grown from what it was back then, 3 million after the, the slaughters uh, from the Khmer Rouge to now 16, 17 million. Uh, and everything is booming. Phnom Penh is booming. Kampot is growing and booming. More tourists are coming. Siem Reap is, is, is really busy too, with of course Angkor Wat being there, and Baton Bong is also. So there's tons to do. Lots of beautiful mountains, amazing Mondulkiri region where the coffee's grown. Kulin Mountain, the spring water. There's a big waterfall up there where you can go into the beach on top of the mountain. It's fantastic. So look, this is it. I'm telling the truth. Come to Cambodia, experience it yourself, and then make a judgment. Travel around everywhere as I have, and then you can compare it to, to, to Thailand and all the advantages you have here. All right, that's it for me, Robert Cambodia. Along with the barking dogs behind me. <laughs> All right, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Robert Cambodia.